Jack, obviously everybody was coming to Oshkosh with a couple of questions on their mind, but the biggest one was obviously Cessna, LSA, what's going on? You're here, it's, it's here, it's gorgeous. What really is going to happen now as far as Cessna's entry into LSA? Well, Jim, last year I think you, you saw the proof of concept and you said, Jack, are you really going to do this and when are you going to do this? And today is the day that we are doing it. We're taking orders today. Uh, we're excited about going into production on what is our Cessna entry into the light sport market. It's the Cessna Model 162 Skycatcher. The, the kids today with Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Sim and others, they're getting virtual time that is as real as what you and I got when we were learning how to fly. And so they're coming to an expectation. This is what they expect to see in terms of the cockpit and style and, and flight capability for a light airplane. And, and what I'm confident is that once they learn how to fly an airplane like this, they'll work, continue to work their way up to other airplanes, whether it's the Cessna family or others that come along. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. They're going to be using this airplane for the private pilot course as well as sport pilot. And we provide the training programs for the Cessna Pilot Centers. And uh, we've already started working on the syllabus. And we're very eager to get our hands on an actual airplane so that we can start uh, doing the uh, in-flight segments with it. We really didn't see the, the, the real vision until the regulatory process was done. We started the infrastructure building and realized that it was important that companies who could give credibility and validation such as Cessna get engaged. And we were very fortunate that Jack Pelton was at the head of Cessna because he, he was willing to share the vision, saw what was needed, and was able to put an infrastructure in terms of a business case that made this a reality. I'm a strong general aviation advocate, and when I look at the trends that's concerning, when I look at the, the kids that live in my neighborhood, that they, they aren't flying model airplanes and they're not uh, looking to the sky dreaming of flying, and a lot of it, I think, is due to affordability, and there's nothing fun and exciting out there to grab them. They're coming up from having flown uh, flight simulators, whether it's Microsoft Flight Simulator or some other, and they've got experience with glass cockpits. They've got expectations of a technologically exciting airplane to learn to fly in, and boy, oh boy, this is really going to make them happy. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today... There is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. You know, while we're attracting a lot of young people, they do need to have a flight instructor in the right-hand seat. And I think one of the, the uh, concerns of some of the older airplanes is it's just too uncomfortable. There's not enough elbow room uh, to go out and do effective training and to have it be a, a comfortable environment. So that was one of the criteria we looked real hard at. The tendency is to not think about the inside of the airplane, when, and that's where you spend most of your time. So the cockpit design, uh, the ergonomic comforts are going to go a long way in selling the new pilot start in terms of being part of the aviation community. I look at the 140 I learned to fly in and I ask myself, how did I ever get in there with a, with a flight instructor? It's just, it's so small. We solved that and we've also put, I think, an ergonomically well-designed uh, panel layout that will really grab people's attention when they come out to the airport to see it for the first time. It's an exciting airplane and I think it's going to bring a lot of enthusiastic new people into aviation.